Welcome back to Lent in Plain Sight. This is week four of our Lenten series. Today we're going to focus on shoes. So join me in today's lesson as we talk about watching where we step. We're going to learn about the importance of paying attention to our surroundings and being mindful of the path we are heading on in life. We're going to learn about this through the story of the burning bush. You may be familiar with it. Join me in Exodus 3. We're going to read verses 1 through 6. One day, Moses was taking care of Jethro's sheep. Jethro was the priest of Midian and also Moses' father-in-law. Moses led the sheep to the west side of the desert. He came to Sinai, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to Moses in flames of fire coming out of a bush. Moses saw that the bush was on fire, but it was not burning up. So Moses said, I will go, I will go closer to this strange thing. How can a bush continue burning without burning up? The Lord saw Moses was coming to the bush. So God called him from the bush. Here I am. And Moses said, here I am. Then God said, Do not come any closer. Take off your sandals. You are standing on holy ground. I am the God of your ancestor. I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Moses covered his face because he was afraid to look at God. Crazy story, isn't it? I would be confused and fearful too if I was near this bush that spontaneously combusted on its own but wasn't burning and then started talking to me. But Moses approached. Moses took off his shoes, but why? If something was on fire and you approached it, wouldn't you want some protection on your feet? God calls the land that Moses stood on holy, meaning that the land was sacred and pure and shouldn't be tarnished by the dirt and sand that Moses would have accrued taking care of the sheep, everything that would have built onto his sandals. Moses had to be mindful of where he was walking in order to follow and hear God closely, and I wonder if we've also done that. Have we paid attention to the path we're walking on? Have we made sure that we aren't tarnishing our surroundings with the stuff that comes from the world? That's the kind of stuff I want to focus on. We are overwhelmed by a variety of influencers and lifestyles on social media. And I'm not going to condemn anybody because that's a conversation from a different day. But I want to talk about the paths it could lead us on. A useful feature, in my opinion, of YouTube and TikTok is that we are shown videos that are associated with what we watch and what we like. We are led down a specific path to engage in content that we like. But what if that path turned into watching content that we didn't like? Maybe it went from mental health videos to health videos to COVID updates to news broadcasts, and now your news and now your feeds are full of news about stuff that is now spiking your fear and your anxiety. I've been there, and I had to be mindful of that, and I had to pull back off that path. Our paths can intertwine with others, and we might not even know it at first but it would be hard to pull away from. I say all this as an encouragement to watch the path you're walking down. Social media and the world can pull us in a lot of different directions, which is what I believe the Greek word for anxiety is defined as, pulling apart in many directions. I pray this week that you pay attention to where you're being pulled and see if you are being pulled on God's path for you. Amen. Today's craft is the burning bush. Um, it'll be a coloring craft. You should hopefully see a link in the description that will take you to the craft site to where you can print off the stencil. But you're going to need to print it on cardstock, need coloring utensils, so crayons, color pencils, markers, scissors, and then a paper brad, which is. So obviously, print off the copy of the burning bush stuff. You will see the bush itself, and then in the back, you will see flames. Color the bush green and brown, like I did. Then color the flames. In the center, I don't know how well you'll be able to tell, but in the center, there's a color-coded chart. Uh, red, yellow, and orange, R-O-Y. Color each stem of the flame with the appropriate color. 
And then you're going to place the flames behind the bush, line up the black dots that will be on the stencils here, then push your paper brad through the holes, and then you will splay them open on the back. And now you have your burning, your burning bush. And that's it. That wraps us up. We'll be back next week for a brand new meditation. As always, stay blessed.